Hi, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and these are my least favourite not for me books this year. Um, I didn't have any books that I really detested like I did last year. I didn't read any Secret Commonwealth or The Testaments. There was nothing that I venomously hated. Um, but I had a lot of okay books this year and some really good books which I have talked about in another video. I will link that down below. Um, but I do have two main books to talk to you about today and these more are more disappointing reads than least favourite um, but I have The Moving Finger by Agatha Christie and I did a reading vlog in, when I was reading this I spoke about it in a wrap up and I basically said that I should have DNF'd it because I hated it <laughs> Um, I've been working my way through a couple of um, Agatha Christie um, Miss Marple books um, and this is the second that I had read recently. I was listening to it on audio book on script. I actually had the physical copy but um, I was listening to it on audio and basically um, what happened is Miss Marple didn't show up till like an hour towards the end and it was a six hour book um, and Miss Marple is the cute little character that I like. This is a story about uh, city, a city brother and sister from the city, brother and sister from the city, who move to a small village. There are some and letters that be anonymous letters are being sent, and they are making accusations. They're actually wildly false, um, and then people start dying. Um, the problem is, I didn't care about the main character. The narr the narrator, this man from the London. First of all, he was a nonce because he started fancying some. 17 year old girl 18 year old girl and he was like a 50 year old man um and also he well i think he was like old but he just def he definitely was too old for her he was definitely talking about her like she was a child so that made me feel sick um she was definitely like 17 or something it was awful um in that aspect and then also um i didn't like any of the characters i didn't like the gossip like the this the, the village gossip was rubbish i don't know if it's just a setup in this one i didn't like and like the lack of an anchor of um agatha christie of miss marple in this um but it definitely wasn't like the other one that i'd read and yeah the sexism was off i don't know if i will read anymore i don't know if i've got time for that negativity this year so we shall see um, then also I read The Doors of Eden by Adrian Tchaikovsky and this one I really, really forced myself through. Um, it's a sci-fi novel about, it's not I thought it was rubbish, it's just that I didn't get it and I was a bit bored and I wasn't following the story very well but I kept hoping that it would get better and it never did so it potentially could just be me I'm just too dumb for this kind of sci-fi but it really didn't click with me and I basically just forced my way through it when I shouldn't have that's not to say that the any other um sci-fi fan or even normal reader who does who hasn't read any sci-fi wouldn't like it but I just was I was not vibing with that book. I think I didn't have three books this year, so I'm just going to quickly talk about those. This isn't going to be a long video because I don't have any rant reviews to say. But I did recently DNF Winter Magic by Amy Atwood. Um, this is just a short story collection of winter, like um, middle grade childhood stories that I just didn't c connect with. I read a couple that I really enjoyed. I read a couple that were just, I just wasn't in the mood for them. So I put them down. I don't know if I will pick this back up. Um... I have the potential to because it is on script, but I won't. I'm not seeking it out to pick up. I've also got an anonymous, an, an anonymous girl by Sarah Peckinen and Greer Hendricks. I have had this thriller on my TBR for a really long time, um, maybe like a year or so, um, and it's one I've wanted to re read since I had that. Um, and it is about a makeup artist in the city, in New York City who has the opportunity to take part in a study and this study gets um, quite close and personal with morality, questions of morality and things like that and basically it gets to a point where she gets to start to ask really personal questions and I was reading it and I think I was like six pages in and I just thought I don't care what happens I don't, I'm not that interested, I didn't feel like, I just didn't feel like it was going to be something I really enjoyed so I googled the ending and I'm glad I didn't read it because it was just okay. So I saved myself on a just okay book or a just okay for me book here. And also another book I DNF'd but I kind of DNF'd this one for now. And that is um, The Tower Falls by Andre 
Andrew Sapkowski. Um, this is from the author of The Witcher. I knew absolutely nothing about this book except for the fact that it's fantasy. I do like fantasy, but the first chapter in this book was extremely like religious history style. Um, and that really put me off. I was trying to read it whilst I was away and I was just sitting there trying to relax reading this and I just thought I would rather be reading something else. So I didn't read it. Um, I don't know if it's like the time or it wasn't right. I definitely want to try it again, give it a second chance. Um, obviously that wasn't even the proper story, I hope. So I need to sort of get more into that and see what's there for me to enjoy because I'm sure I would enjoy it because I do like The Witcher show. I haven't seen, I haven't read The Witcher, but I like The Witcher on, on the TV. <laughs> um, but that is all on my least favourite or disappointing or everything went wrong for me with these books this year. Um, obviously this is no offence to anyone that does like them or even the books themselves. The books are probably really great, uh, just not for me or I'm stupid, potentially. Potentially. Um... And I will speak to you soon because I'm going to leave this negative space. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.